cannot believe this is an abandoned house. Just look at the ivy taken over here. Look at this dining table set. And look, the power is still on. joined with Taze but he's doing some drone shots at the moment so we'll catch up with him in a minute and um, today we've come to explore an abandoned mansion now this mansion is a good one everything's still in there power is still on and it's pretty much untouched so it should be a good explore so let's go and check it out and see what we can find okay guys so you can see that this driveway has completely overgrown I think the house is literally just through here. Oh wow, there it is. I think we'll go this way. So Taser is currently flying the drone over at the moment. And I've just come in to have a look and see if we can find a way in. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. It looks pretty well sealed up there. I cannot believe how overgrown it is. Oh, we've got an old garage down here. See, there's a Taser's drone just up there, getting some good shots from above. Don't know if there's anything in the garage or not. Mm, there's a few bits of garden furniture in there, but nothing too interesting. Okay, so I'll go and find Taser, and when we've got the drone shots done, we'll go and try and find a way in. Okay guys, so we are now in this beautiful house. Now Taze has gone on ahead of me, I was taking some pictures outside. I can see there's a light on up there. I think Taze is in that room there. Um, so if we continue up through this hallway first. So we've got some cassette tapes in here by the look of it. Some old pictures. Oh wow, look at that. There is a whole chest of drawers full of photographs in there. But I think there's enough scattered around the house, so I'm not going to go rummaging through there. Out of respect of the people that used to live here. Oh, we've got an old Peugeot mountain bike there. Oh my goodness, that is like brand new. That really is like brand new. It's got the old Mavic rims on it too. 
That is absolutely immaculate. Apart from the rear inner tube, which is wrapped around the wheel. But there ain't many left like that. Okay, so we'll continue up through. I'm gonna take a look in this room here. My goodness me. Oh my goodness, wow. I had no idea there was this much stuff left behind. Look at the old Nokia mobile phone. <laughs> Ooh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Huge marble fireplace over there. There is so much stuff. We've got a newspaper here dated 1983. still got a coat hanging up on the back of the door there as well. It does appear that this house has been left very quickly. I cannot believe the power's still on. Really, really nice piano there. I wonder if it still works. We've got a photograph on the wall there from a married couple, possibly the people who used to live here. I've got another photograph there, that's a really old picture. And another one there of a little tiny girl sitting on a swing. Oh. This is unbelievable. I mean, look, you've got ivy growing through the window there, yet the power's still on. This house is amazing. It really is amazing. And it's really nice to see that there's not a lot of graffiti in here. There's no damage. You know, this is a very, very new find. And I honestly don't think there has been a lot of people here at all. Ah, oh, we've got a little sausage dog there, look. One of my favorite breeds. <laughs> so we've got some more photographs from the fireplace here. We've got a card there. Mum and Dad, happy anniversary, all my love, Lucy. Aww. Okay, so we'll continue through, which I believe is the dining area. Again, we've got the power still on. A lovely table set there. And a beautiful chandelier as well. So through here, a little TV. <laughs> got all the adjustment there for the colour and the brightness, volume. Huge speakers. This must have been like a music room for them or something. Okay, guys, so if we walk back through this way, we're going to check out the other front room and then we've, we've got the kitchen area, I believe. Oh, there's Taser. Disappearing into the room we've just come from. So if we jump through this room up here, well, again, you can see the water damage in this property is quite serious. I mean, that ceiling is actually bowing down right in the center. And you can see there, I don't even need the light on, the door frame has actually dropped very slightly. So that means that this whole room above us is starting to sink in the middle and put weight down onto this door frame. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and the old lampshade as well. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And look, we've got a cupboard here full of VHS tapes. Titanic, Annie, The Jungle Book, Magnificent Seven, Back to the Future 2, Romeo and Juliet, there's loads there. A nice fireplace with a nice log burner in the middle. It is so nice to see this property still as it was left, really. Okay, so the next room is the kitchen. No, no we've got no power in here, sadly. I mean, this is peculiar. We've still got rubbish bags here, like put out for the dustbin. You know, there's, there's a box of tissues half used on the table. 
I mean, there's still bits and pieces on the side of the kitchen unit you know, that makes you think that they were halfway through jobs when they had to leave or when... I don't, I don't know. I don't know the history, so I can't tell you. But um, it's nice to wonder, you know. Beautiful Aga there. Really, really nice. Well used by the look of it too. Cupboard full of cups. We've got another one here full of food. Oh, look at the olive oil. That's pretty mank. <laughs> Just have a quick look and see. It looks like we've got some leakage out of one of those. Is that a date there? Can't read that one. Try the ketchup. Oh, it looks like brown sauce now. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Wow, look at this. We've got a date on that tomato ketchup, 2009. Put that back where I found it because I don't like to move things from where they were. 2009. I mean, could it really be that long? Possibly. Okay, so I think we've got another room through here. Oh, we've got a utility room in here, which has got the boiler. Fridge freezers, a huge freezer there. Massive. <laughs> Got some mouse traps there. See, the boiler doesn't look very old either. The mega flow system, it's a huge heating system they've got here. Obviously, it's a huge house. You see, look, the batteries have been taken out of the controllers there. beeswax <laughs> and the water is still on now I know a lot of you have said don't do it don't do it but I just have to do it I can't help myself well that's interesting there's nothing in there and again nothing in there either so somebody has gone to the effort of clearing the, the fridge and the freezer out. What have we got in here? I've still got some coats hanging up in there. And even this big freezer, I've just noticed that somebody's actually put a tea towel under there to keep it open to let it vent out. So there's clearly no food left in there either. I'll be honest, you actually made me see... <laughs> You made me shit myself a little bit then. <laughs> good, good. Last video. Good. <laughs> Payback. What do you think? Good, very good. I'm going to take pictures now. It's incredible, nice. isn't it? It really is. I'm going to go and have a quick look upstairs then. Okay. okay, so we're going to take a look upstairs now. I mean, if it's anything like downstairs, <laughs> I am really excited to be honest with you. Again, we've still got lights on up here too. And we've got obvious water damage on the carpet. My goodness me, look at that. Just goes to show that this property has actually been empty for a very long time. And we've got a toilet just over there. I've just walked into a spider web, so no one's obviously walked into that room for a while. Okay, so the first room we come in upstairs. It looks like it could have been a bedroom. We've got some serious water damage here, some serious water damage. So the room below has actually mirror imaged upstairs. The ceiling is actually dropping in the center. And I don't know if you can see it, but the floor as well dips down in the center, then comes back up again. Oh. <laughs> the Passat girl. <laughs> oh, God. Tread over that bit because I don't really feel safe walking on it. So we've got some more photographs here. Got some letters there regarding a the parcel. I'm not sure what's in here. And we've still got some clothes hanging up. Got another marble fireplace there. Some books, another photograph there. 
Also, we've got the ensuite or upstairs bathroom. There's two doors to this. I mean, look at this, right? This is what I don't get. There's still toothpaste and toothbrushes in the pot, cotton buds, yet there's mouse poo in the soap dish holder. I mean, there's loads of dead flies in the bath. Again, you can see the water damage in this house. I mean, if it's anything to go by the food date downstairs, 2009, you know, that's a long time. Have a quick peek outside, you can see how overgrown it is out there. You've got all the cobwebs on the windows here. You can tell that that window hasn't been open for years. Actually nice to see a clean toilet for a change. Okay, so we walk out of the bathroom into an upstairs landing. Got some nice plates on the wall there. We've got a cupboard here, full of bedding, bed sheets. Ooh, what's that? Some wind chimes. Again, we've got some serious water damage coming through up here. You can see where it's leaked out onto the carpet below. If we take a look in here again, we can see that there's still loads of personal items left in here. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, it's really hot in here. What a beautiful room. So you can clearly see from here, like this house is in the middle of nowhere. There's not a house around here for miles. As far as you can see. I've got the condensation on the inside of the glass there. Um, now, I don't know. There's a garage down there. I don't know if there is an outdoor swimming pool just in that area there. When I came in earlier, I thought I saw an outdoor swimming pool, so we'll go and check that out later. Now, again, if you look on the floor, you can see the water damage in here. Absolutely terrible. And look at this, look, the candle. Where it's got so hot in here, the candle has actually flopped over. <laughs> oh, look, we've got some photographs here. Again, these are really, really old photographs. Wow. Okay, I think we've got a couple more rooms to look in now. So we've got another bedroom here. I wonder. <laughs> I still can't get over that. I mean, look at these beds. These beds are still made. I mean, you could just go to sleep in that right now. And then you take a look on the wall, and then you've got black mould growing up in the corner. Nice little fireplace there. Turn that light back off again. Oh, it's Taser taking some pictures. Okay, so I think we're going to take a look in this room here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, okay, so this must have been the master bedroom. And again, we've got some photos on the fireplace here. There's a portrait just up on the wall there. They've got a white company bag down there. Obviously, when they've done some shopping. If you take a look at this window here, look, you can see the ivy has actually started to take control and it's actually growing inside the house. And again, up in this corner here, you can see where the ivy's grown through and it's died and dropped on the floor, but it's still there. And we've got some serious water damage here on the wall again, on the ceiling as well. But, I mean, look at the bed. And the bed is virtually untouched, you know, it's... It's unbelievable, it really is. Got a trouser press there. In the bathroom. I mean, look at this, right? There's still towels hanging up on the side. We've got cleaning products, hair products on the side. Mouthwash, soap. 
And there's even still a towel hanging up on the shower, ready to use. Yet, you look at the ceiling and the wall, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. It's really strange, really, really strange. Okay, I'll just turn these lights back off again. Oh, I'll leave that one on if you're going in there, yeah, mate. In there. Yeah, okay, okay, Nathan's going in there, so we'll leave that one back on. <sighs> Lucy. I've seen that name a couple of times now. I mean, every room is just getting better and better and better. It really is. And then you take a look at that and it just completely changes. I mean, when I first walked into this room, I thought, wow, this is immaculate. You know, am I really in an abandoned house? And then you look here and it just proves it. And again, look, we've got ivy coming through the windows. And where it's died and dropped on the floor, everything's still there. Again, look, toothpaste and toothbrush are still there, ready to use. There's another photograph there of the married couple. I don't know if that's the same couple who were downstairs or not in the other photo. Have a quick peek out this window as well. You'll see again, look, there's not a house around here for miles. It is in the middle of nowhere. It, I mean, it is such a beautiful location, it really is. And the house from the outside is stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at this, we've still got clothes and bedding in the wardrobes. This cot, this cot is lovely. It really is. Right guys, I think we've got one more room to look in, which is this one here. Do I really need the torch? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, this is nice, look, this is bamboo. In fact, the beds are bamboo as well. And the chest of drawers, you know, everything is bamboo in here. That's really, really nice, I like that. Again, apart from the odd bit of water damage that you can see up in the corner, I mean, Take a look at this room. It is absolutely immaculate. Well, you can't see nothing out the windows. And again here, look, we've got ivy coming through. I mean, from the outside, this house is being taken over by the ivy. It's barely recognisable. Oh, we've got some letters here, look. Dear Lucy, the swimming pool man has just arrived. Da, 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 da. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Look at the hat as well. Incredible. Have we still got clothes in the wardrobe? I mean, obviously there's a story behind this house, why it's left like this. But, you know, sadly, we'll probably never know. Wow. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna go and find Taser. I think that's pretty much the house done. We're gonna have a little walk around outside. I know there's a garage outside, and I'm hoping there's a swimming pool too. So let's take a walk down, go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so we're back outside. We're just trying to find ooh, the swimming pool. Now, it is extremely overgrown here. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, keep getting caught cool thorns. I honestly don't know which way it is. I mean, this is just ridiculous how overgrown it is here. I'm going to carry on. Hopefully, it's not too far away. Okay, guys, so I've been walking around for about 20 minutes now. I kid you not. 
trying to find this swimming pool. It is so overgrown here, you wouldn't believe it. Now, I've definitely found something. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. I'll try and break through all these bushes. Oh, oh wow, it's a tennis court. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Probably the most overgrown tennis court I've ever explored. And it's all part of that incredible mansion that we've just been in. Well, that was definitely hard work. I've had to pull my socks up. I don't know if you can see, I've got loads of cuts on my legs. Ouch. Yeah, it wasn't very pleasant. Uh, yes, I found it. It's here. Found the swimming pool. Wow, that is proper manky. That really is proper manky. <laughs> and look, it's even got, I don't know if you can see a diving board on the other side. Wow, I, I honestly, I cannot tell you how long this has been abandoned for, but as you can see by the wildlife that's in here, it is a very, very long time. Right guys, it is time to make a move. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Media Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I'll put all the pictures on there. 10 of the best on Instagram. Go and check out Taser's page and we'll see you on the next Explore scene.